<laughs> hey everybody welcome i have we're having a little paint party with zuzu and some of her friends out on our porch and so today we're going to do isaiah verse chap chapter 9 verse 6 and he shall be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace and how we're going to do this is i'm going to do my paper vertically so i have my watercolor paper and I'm going to start, I'm going to do a little circle down here just for fun. And we're going to erase that circle in just a little bit. So that's on my bottom third of my paper. And then I'm also going to do a little, almost a crescent right here, just a little curved line. And so we're going to, this is going to be lots of color on here, lots of different colors. And do y'all see my mermaid pen? Yes, my, is, oh, there it is. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to start with my really small brush. And then I'm going to move forward uh, with different brushes as I go along. But you could do this with markers if you wanted. That would go just as, just as well. So I'm going to start with red. And then we're going to write, and he shall be called. And I know this is kind of a... Um, a scripture we use at, at Christmas time, but I feel like this is so good for right now, just to be reminded of the character of God and who he is, that he's, he was faithful with yesterday. He's going to be faithful with today, that he's bigger than we could ever imagine. And he, so this is Isaiah prophesying 400 years before he came. He will. Mom, what should I do? Well, you could do this if you like, or you could do flowers since we're outside. Be called. I don't know if I like anything more than painting outside. It's so beautiful today, the weather. Okay, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor. And Corey and I, I'm, a, I'm gonna use a little thicker brush on this one. Again, you could use a marker. You could, uh, there's all different avenues you could get here. You could use colored pencil, you could use watercolor pencil. But right now on my curved line, I'm gonna follow this curved line that I will eventually um, erase. Wonderful. But Corey and I were talking about this, the wonderful part, because um, in the King James, it, it separates wonderful count and counselor. And um, I just thought that was so interesting because it talks about how wonderful is unexplained. In the Hebrew, it means like unexplained. You can't explain it in human terms. And just the, we've seen miracles happen. Some are small, some are big, but especially... Just here in this COVID season, we've seen some miracles happen. Um, for instance, a few weeks ago, I didn't know if we would have enough eggs and I couldn't find eggs anywhere. I've switched to my smaller brush so I can fit it all the way around here. Anyway, all that to say, at the end of the day where I thought I would ha not have any eggs ever again, <laughs> where I was worried I wouldn't be able to feed, feed the children, feed the six children in my care, I literally had a hundred eggs of people who brought different eggs from either their farm or their business and they didn't know we needed them. And so it might've seemed like a small thing to them, but really it was a miracle to us. Okay. So counselor in orange, then I'm going to switch right over here. Let's see. I'm going to go to pink. Why not? It's too fun. Mighty God, Everlasting Father. So right here, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to draw another little line that I'm going to erase here in a little bit, but I'm going to use it to follow, to write Mighty God. <laughs> Y'all don't have to whisper. And Abby, if you need another sheet, I have them. No, I'm good. So I'm following these two lines with my block lettering. Good catch. 
That was like amazing reflexes. We almost knocked over the water and she caught it. Like a, she's like a ninja. Okay, so mighty God, everlasting father. And we're gonna do that in a purple. And I'm gonna follow this, like I'm gonna bring it really down far right here. I'm gonna bring it up all the way around here. So everlasting father. And again, on the any of the cursive, I'm going to go back over it, and I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to thicken my downstroke, thicken my downstroke to make it look, anytime the brush goes down, I make that line a little bit thicker to make it look like I had a calligraphy brush the whole time and kind of to make it look like my brush never left the paper, which obviously you see that it did. This is just... A way to trick trick the eye. <laughs> okay. I loop around my L right there. Again, to make it look like my, pa my pen never left the paper. Tonight, Corey and I are actually sharing um, at Gateway Church online, obviously. Um, but about this verse, that he is the wonderful counselor. He sure has proven to be so for us in this season. Okay, everlasting father. I like this part because it reminds me of when I was at camp um, at Kanakut growing up. Um, I had these counselors who were amazing and they would always, uh, when they would pray, they'd always say, Dear Daddy. And they would talk to him, you know, with reverence, but also just that they knew, they knew who their father was. They knew that they were, they knew who they were in Christ. And just they had that access to be able to call him Daddy. Okay. Everlasting Father. Again, I went over that just a little bit. Prince of Peace. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch back to my tiny brush if I can find it. There it is. I keep hiding stuff. So in my circle, I'm going to do Prince of Peace. And girls, what color should I use? Yellow? I know. I always I have a problem. Or green. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, I'm going to go with yellow just because I can't help myself. I'm going to go. I have a self-help group for loving yellow. Okay, so I'm going to follow these lines. <laughs> Here you go, love. I would do the basketball first and then go around it. Yeah. And then here, and you can do use a pencil too. Abby's doing basketball over here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm following this top line, Prince... I'm just using my lettering with my, my block lettering. <laughs> Following those lines. And then I'm going to put the word of in the middle in my cursive. And I'm going to thicken the downstroke. And then I'm going to bring that line all the way out over here and all the way out over here to kind of make a little break in this circle. Prince of Peace. And don't we all need that peace right now? I know I for sure do. So I'm gonna do that in almost a, like a, if I was a kindergarten teacher handwriting. Bringing that around. Okay. You can come back and thicken part of those lines if you like. And then I'm going to use my pencil again. I might, let's see. I'm going to actually go back to my red right here. And I'm going to write Isaiah. Because I started with red, I'm going to end with red. To bring that back around. Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah. 
Isaiah 9, verse 6. Y'all are hilarious. I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> you don't have to whisper. It's okay. I, I will allow you to speak. I love it. Here's Zuzu's. She has done an abstract piece. I love it. Did you do... Sure. Let's see here. So now I'm going to come back with my pencil and I'm going to erase all these little guidelines that I've done. So hopefully people don't see that they just think that we did it magically. And a lot of people can see it without even having the guidelines, but they're good, helpful training wheels for us as we're learning our lettering. We're going to come back in here and do a, a few little doodles just because I'm a doodle specialist. <laughs> That's a technical term. You always say that. It's very technical. Doodle specialist. We could also do some, um, like a color wash if you wanted to, which is just put adding the color on the outside and then bringing it in on the inside with water. So now I'm trying to get rid of all these little fibers. <sighs> okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do with my doodles, my doodly doos, is I'm going to start with my little circle over here, the one that has Prince of Peace, and I'm going to do a circle, follow what those lines were that I just erased. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is not going to, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Zoe. Okay, then I'm doing some doodles around here, and all I'm doing is little half loops all the way around. Going all the way around on here. Again, you could do that color wash if you wanted to. So then on the inside of those, if you wanted to go ahead and color them in, you could. I'm going to switch to a little bigger brush to do that. So this is just something to kind of draw your attention to these words. Here we go. And then I'm going to do a color wash around the rest of it, but kind of leave this area white. So I'm switching to my big brush. I'm going to start with red at the top because that's what I have going on already. I'm adding the red. Looks a little dingy. Oops. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Missy? Okay. I'm trying to get as close as I can to the letters without actually touching them. <laughs> do 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 do. Ella, did. Ella, that's gorgeous. That gave me an idea for mine. Ella, I'll have to show <laughs> what you've done here on my porch. Can I see it? Mm -hmm. This says the girls, Zuzu, Ella, Abby, Indy. How cute is that? So we're going to do what Ella did. We're going to take a little page from her playbook, and we're going to do the black outlining around our doodle down below. So, let's see here. Now I'm going and switching to pink. And again, I'm trying to mix it in over here. Mix in with some of my orange. Bring it down below here. Again, trying to get as close as I can to the letters without technically touching them. Take some of this color and bring it down here. that again. 
Okay, now switch into purple. And I don't have a whole lot of space right here. Ooh, very cool. Zuzu's using a little drip, um, drip method, doing some drip painting. Okay, we're gonna, <laughs> it's okay, we can clean it up. It's the great thing about, yeah, watercolor paint's really easy to clean up. Okay. <laughs> Ella and Zuzu cleaned my house today, and I paid them in mom bucks. It was amazing for all of us. <laughs> okay, so I'm ending in my purple. I'm letting that be my the last color that I'm doing here. I probably should have, but decided not to because I'm crazy. Okay. Now, let me get over here. Abby's, doing abstract. Abby's going with the abstract. I like it. I like it, Ab. Okay, now I'm gonna go again with my with my black and my tiny. You could also do this with um, a fine tip sharpie if you wanted to. I thought you had fine tip sharpie. And actually, I do have a fine tip sharpie. This is not quite dry, so I am probably not gonna do the whole thing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here. What is that? that? The sun? No, just a doodle. I guess she did sun. <laughs> okay, it's the sun. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just like Ella did, I'm going to come back over each one of these. Oh and I'm going to come and just outline them. There you go, now, that needs to be dry or it will start to bleed. That's the one thing that you need to focus on right here is that make sure that whatever you've done is dry. Like right there, it's not dry. See how it's bleeding a little bit, but we'll just let it go. <laughs> okay, Prince of Peace. You can also, if you wanted to, use your, sh use your shading and come in here. It's too wet for me to set my hand down and go, but you could shade each one of these letters if you wanted to after that. But we hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.